What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones, MCJ here with another video on PowerFX. Um, today we are going to be looking at how to open a custom dialog using PowerFX and some JavaScript. Don't worry, uh, I'm not expecting you to write the JavaScript. I have all the JavaScript here and Microsoft provide you with some examples on the website. But one of the things that we can do is we can use PowerFX to call this JavaScript and open a custom dialog. Uh, custom dialogs allow you to present data and present um, additional buttons and things like that in different ways. So there's a couple of things that we need to know first off. First off, the um, the dialog needs or the custom page needs to be um, in the app already. So a dialog is a custom page and you need to make sure that you have that in your app so you can use it. Second one, we do need to use some JavaScript. So again, if you're not familiar with JavaScript, that's fine. I'm not an expert in writing JavaScript. I've just copied some examples from the Microsoft website. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in PowerFX here, um, and I'm looking at my uh, model-driven app, and I've got my form here, and what I can do is I can click on it, and I can click Edit into Command Bar Preview, and then we can choose main grid, or main form, sorry. Click on edit, and we open up our custom page here. So I will add a new button in, and we get a new command. I'm gonna call this uh, open send, uh, send dialog. And we'll choose an icon for it, uh, because why not? Uh, oh, we'll leave it with the LinkedIn icon, that's fine. That's fine. Um, next thing we need to do is we need to define the action. <clears throat> so the action down here is run formula, which is your PowerFX formula. But you do also have the option for run JavaScript as well. So choose JavaScript. And then we get access to some JavaScript libraries. So you can see there are some in here by default, but we can also add a library into here as well. And when you choose add a library, what it's trying to do is it's trying to search through all of your JavaScript resources that you have in your system at the moment, and you can choose one of these. The one we're going to choose is this open center dialog that I've already uploaded. And we'll click add. Um, and it's trying to warn me that I've got no function name. That's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring across my Visual Studio code and I'll talk through my JavaScript. So, we'll, uh, <clears throat> so this is my JavaScript that's contained within that library. So this is my um, my send dialog code. So the function is called send dialog. That's the function that we're going to need to put into PowerFX. And then we've got some promises. So we've got um, some variables. So we've got a, a page input page type is a custom page and the name is the name of my custom page. So this uh, comes from PowerFX directly. Um, so, so we build the canvas app, we build the custom page that has a name. This is what that name is. If I go to one of my other windows, open, go into my solution. Um, Actually, is it? Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, here it is. Um, if I choose this one here, uh, and I expand this pane on the left, on the right, um, it has name here, and that is that name. So that is the name that you need in your JavaScript. So that's the same one there. So that's the page input variable. Then we have a navigation variable, so anything that says var is variable. So navigation options, and it gives us some additional things. So it has a target, has position, has a width, and it has a custom title. So the target, um, I can't remember which, which around is the target or the position. One of these changes, and it changes from a, a center dialog to a side pane dialog. Um, and we have a title, so we can do a custom title like that. And we can also specify width values to see how big or how small it is, that's all good. And then, so these are these are two variables that we're, we're collecting first. Um, and then we are running this function. So xrm.navigate2, uh, and then we input our two variables, our page input variable and our navigation input variable. So it's just basically containing all of this information. So we could write 
just this single line here with um, these inputs but if you put them in variables it just makes it easier to update if you're using this in multiple places uh, and then we just got some um, some error handling so then and then catch any errors and things like that so again all these codes on the Microsoft website um, it's easy enough to download from there and just copy and paste into whatever text there to use and then you can use this so just to uh, just to prove it um, here is my web resource. So if you have never uploaded JavaScript before um, and you go to uh, add a new library, uh, for instance, oops, wrong button. Go to add a new library, for instance, uh, you can choose new and it'll open this web resource page where you can um, upload your JavaScript directly to it. So in here, you give it a name, you give it a display name, you can give it a description if you want. Uh, you choose a type being JavaScript or JScript there, and then choose the file and upload your file. And then once you've done that, you will have it in here. You can see this is the one we got, open send dialog. Um, we have uh, the ability to re-upload a file. We also have a text editor. Click the text editor, we can see the JavaScript in here, and it's exactly the same as what I showed you in Visual Studio Code. So back to Parafax. Um, so this open send dialog, it's warning me now that there's no function. I need a function name and that's basically so it knows what function in that JavaScript library you need to call when you press this button. So if I go back to uh, this, we can see the function is send dialog. So we will just copy that, copy that out and we'll paste it into here, send dialog. And then that's all we need. Um, so we'll, we'll have this always show. We don't need uh, this to um, hide or anything like that. Uh, we'll just always show this and it'll just run and hopefully it'll open our dialog. So we'll save and publish. And then we'll press play. We'll navigate to contacts. Open a contact page. Contact row. And we have this open send dialog option here. So if I click it, we cross our fingers, it opens the central dialog. Um, there we go. So this central dialog is not um, not optimized at the moment. It's just for testing purposes. But you can see that we can put stuff on here. We can put buttons on here. We can put um, fields on here to capture data. Uh, we can see this is the custom dialog that's from the JavaScript in there. Uh, we can also make this bigger, so we can make this full screen. We can reduce it down, um, and there we go. That is how you um, launch a custom dialog straight from inside of PowerFX using JavaScript. Um, so you see, it's really straightforward. It just requires a little bit of JavaScript that you can get from the Microsoft Docs site. I will paste the link down below. Uh, in the in the uh, description so that you know where you can get this these sample bits of code from uh, and then we just run the JavaScript we pass in the uh, the function um, using um, the, the new editor and it, we can launch a custom page uh, a custom dialog straight from inside of there um, this is just one of the ways that you can do that um, in one of my next videos I'm going to show you another way to do this as well um, so if you're not familiar, Scott Giro, who made the Ribbon Workbench, made a solution called Smart Buttons, and Smart Buttons also have the ability to um, add in and open custom pages. So multiple ways to do the same thing, but Scott's way has some advantages over this way, so we'll take a look at that way as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could like it and share it with a friend, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.